Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. I have another freestyle reading that I'm going to do for you all, but it's a little bit different, a little bit the same, a little bit different. First, I want to just welcome and invite you all to my channel. For those of you who are new, for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Um, make sure you go ahead and um, book a private session with me. Um, you can find the link to my website under this video, www.divinelotustarot.com. Also, I want to invite you all to follow my other tarot social media sites and you can find that information in the description box below this video as well too. We're going to go ahead and get into a freestyle reading like I was mentioning in the beginning of the video. Um, and guess who got selected for the reading again? If you said Leo, oh my goodness, you are right. But it's the Leo males again. Leos, I don't know what's up with y'all being all extra and spoiled. But I'm going to spoil y'all because y'all keep coming and pulling on my energy. But it's the Leo males. So we're focusing on the Leo males. And it was two. It was two zodiac signs that came up, surprisingly. Guess what the other sign is? If you guessed Aquarius, you are correct. So it's actually interesting because those signs are opposites of each other in the Zodiac astrology, right? Leo and Aquarius are actually opposite each other. So I thought that was pretty interesting. But the catch is it's going to be for those with significant placements of Aquarius who are females. Mm -hmm. So the first part I asked who wanted to go first. And you know, my Leo's showed up and was like no we gonna go first we gonna go first we gonna go first so my leos y'all y'all extra spoil and i'm gonna spoil y'all because oh, oh my goodness y'all my little spoil babies so i'm gonna go ahead and spoil y'all um and give y'all some extra attention because y'all really like three readings three readings that y'all done came back to back to back but two readings with the male energy so i'm gonna spoil y'all because y'all deserve it <laughs> no but um it ain't even y'all season it's Sagittarius season it is Sagittarius season y'all over here wanting to be spoiled like oh my goodness but no I love it though so I'm gonna go ahead and do uh the those of you who are um males who have significant placements of Leo and then I'm going to do a reading for those of you who are females who have significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart. And then I'm going to do like a collective energy between the two of you to see like, like how does the two of your energies match up and resonate? If so, you know, for those of you where that might apply, like, like how are y'all impacting each other since both of y'all came out, especially with y'all being opposite signs. All right. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the reading. So first and foremost, Leo, um, we have the four of cups coming out for your energy. So I feel like there is this energy of you wanting to reach out to an individual. Okay. Now I was getting for some of you because the next card just pulling off the top of the deck. The next card we have is the three of swords. And then as well, your underlying energy, we have the two of swords. So this is letting me know for some of you, you're just not in contact with whoever this individual is. For some of you, this could be because this is someone who you had a falling out with. For some of you, this could be an ex or just someone who you are not on good terms with, okay? Um, so I feel like you're not speaking to this individual. There could have been some type of energy because collective c combined that is a five of sword type of energy so there could have been something that you did to this individual that put this individual in a position that they needed to walk away from you because you were you could have been on some bullshit you know what i'm saying like the five of swords is a bullshit petty type of energy okay it's chaos it's drama it's it could be someone just being mean being wicked being cruel being nasty someone trying to play mind games and manipulate someone or someone doing what they need to do to try to just get a one-up and a uh, advantage over someone else but it's a disadvantage to the individual so for some of you you know this is someone who you already have some type of prior history with and you could be coming slowly towards this individual with the prince of pentacles um because you've been gradually making your way towards this person because you already know that you're kind of in a doghouse with whoever this person is for others of you this could be a new individual who you're walking towards 
and you could have experienced some type of betrayal um nastiness drama pettiness um you know just conflict stressful energy um petty bitchy ass energy with someone who or people who you were dealing with um and you could be moving away from that energy and that could be why you're slowly moving towards this individual because with the three of swords for you it those of you in that situation where it's like a new person you're walking towards you don't know this individual you have no type of established history it could be a situation where like maybe both of you collectively have been through like betrayal pain sorrow heartbreak and pain because i already said pain already so pain <laughs> and and i feel like leo you're moving away slowly from that energy so that's why you've been like gingerly taking your time to come towards this individual but i feel like you're like all in but you're just really taking your time to come towards this individual because i'm hearing baby steps it's just like you're just wanting to maybe just make sure like make sure and just not rush things and maybe just do things differently because of all the this could be like the heartache that you're still carrying so it's like you could have moved away from a situation but you're still carrying that heart heartache and that heart pain from the previous situation that you've been dealing with regardless if it's romantic or not it's just it could just be something that has felt like a loss to you or some type of loss that you still have been dealing with but it's like you have interest in wanting to move towards whoever this individual is and i feel like you're you're gradually making your way towards this person you've just been kind of like slowly taking your time um to come in maybe to make sure you were serious may, maybe to to come in and have all of your your things together you know so when you present something to this individual that this person can know that you're serious and take you serious okay um but i feel like you're coming into this individual with some type of commitment okay it could be a contract um or wanting to establish some type of <coughs> excuse me long-term commitment with this individual okay but i also feel like this individual who you're going towards like i said similarly if this is a new person for some of you you're going towards an, another individual who also has been through some type of like setbacks or pain or betrayal or losses and you know i just feel like both of you, you both of y'all kind of got like heavy hearts okay or just maybe a little bit of um heavy heaviness and heavy energy that you're both dealing with um that the two of you may share in common that you may come to find out once you actually finally reach out to this person and come towards this individual leo but like i said otherwise this is those of you going towards someone who you already have some established history with but you know that you're in the doghouse with this person so you know you kind of gotta tread carefully going towards this individual because um there's not good vibes or good energy here between you and this individual is what i'm seeing so you're already kind of maybe suspecting that this person is not gonna want to vibe with you or talk to you um this could just be someone who you haven't talked to in a long time this uh, uh, could also be someone where maybe the last time you had conversation with this individual it wasn't like good words that were exchanged between you and this individual okay so yeah um yeah moving forward um i'm just seeing yeah some of you are walking away from old relationships or old situations and experiences and about to move towards this individual likewise this individual has done this and i feel like the two of you are kind of like grad gradually um coming towards each other where this is a new energy i feel like whoever this is whether it's a new or a past person, Leo, you see this person with the Queen of Cups energy. So with the Eight of Cups to the Queen of Cups, this is someone who you definitely feel like brings you a sense of your, you know, desires being fulfilled um, as someone who you want to have in your life, okay? That's what I'm seeing. You definitely see this as someone who's very significant. Some of you could see this as someone who's very wise. They're very mature. They could be um, emotionally composed. They could be very sweet, loving, nurturing, and caring. And you could be seeing this individual in this manner. This could just be someone who has qualities and traits of maybe like someone who you are interested in getting to know or um, just d developing some type of um, connection, friendship, or relationship with is what I'm seeing. So whatever this person, whatever this, however you see this person, I feel like it's in a very um, respectful manner. Like you respect this individual and you like this person's vibration. It's like this, this person has a good vibe that, that vibes with you is what I'm seeing. And you're wanting to go towards this person. Okay. 
Um, but I also feel as well too. This could be an uh, individual who kind of um, like brings out a different side of you. Is what I'm getting. This person's maybe how this person connects to their. I'm, I'm hearing sweetness. So either you see this person as someone who you, makes you feel sweet, or you see this person they could have a sweet personality. But it's like. Or you could be like sweet on this person. This could be someone who like kind of softens you um, and makes you get emotional or feel more comfortable in your feelings and expressing yourself. Um, maybe someone who you could like let your guard down with. Maybe for some of you, like someone who will nurture and appreciate your uh, sensitivity is what I'm getting. So some of you have a very like essential side i'm seeing because we got the prince of pentacles energy here so that's earthy energy so you you have a very sensual side some of you could be very affectionate and whatnot but i also feel like um i'm hearing you're tapped in with your heat energy i don't know what that means okay but you could be tapped in with your heat energy i don't know what that means but um i feel this person brings out a side of you that either you naturally know you have but you just have not been able to express it with other individuals because you've had to keep your guards up because you haven't had people who essentially were worthy of you showing this side of you to or this person has brought out something new in you that you've never experienced before okay a new set of feelings and emotions that you've never felt or experienced with someone before Making you look at a person in a way that you've never looked at before is what I'm getting and what I'm seeing. Now, the interesting thing is next we have the Dark Alchemist card coming up. To me, um, I, I'm, I'm getting the energy that there is this. I don't believe it's your energy or your person energy who you're going towards. I feel like this is energy that is surrounding your situation because there is third party energies here and pulling the next card we have a pay, a princess of swords. So there is some little nosy um, person who has significant placements of air in their birth chart. Anytime I see the princess of swords it gives me like very strong Gemini energy. So whoever this is they could be um, have significant placements of Gemini in their birth chart. Um, because I feel like Gemini could be a very, in a low vibrational state, it's nosy. It's nosy. They mind everyone else's business. Um, they gossip. They could be liars. Um, they talk too much. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they represent like low vibrational qualities of um, the, the zodiac sign Gemini. So I'm getting that energy because we got the black, uh, the dark alchemist and then the princess of swords coming out. Both of these are Gemini Merc mercurial type of energy you get what i'm saying so this person like i said whoever this third party is or these third party individuals they could strongly hold significant placements of gemini in their birth chart they could definitely be operating from low vibrational um aspects of the zodiac sign of gemini um with those traits that i just explained but if they don't have gemini in their birth chart they are just exuding these uh qualities and in a very low vibrational type of aspect because this is someone who when they speak they don't use their words to bless to prosper to heal majority of the time this is someone who is starting drama this is someone who's keeping up things um conflict this is someone who is wanting to know other people's business so they could use it to blackmail to sabotage to um negatively impact other people's lives so this is someone who gathers and studies and learns and inquires and and investigates and researches and is extra nosy um not for the right reasons is what i'm getting so this could be someone or several people who are um outside energies that are negatively um trying have been um affecting the energy and the vibration and the connection between you and this individual Leo so I'm seeing um, definite um, external factors here that could be the reason um, why some of you are very slowly coming towards this other person now for some of you these are people on your side and you already know this and that could be why you're just kind of treading lightly because 
I'm hearing one false move. So whoever this is, you know, this could be someone who has, uh, this could be someone trying to, you know, do something negatively um, to, it's like someone waiting to lash out. It's like so someone's waiting for you to do something so they could lash out, so they can uh, bust you out, so they could release one of your secrets or so they can lie on you or, or start some drama or something, whatever this is. Um, they just got funky energy around them, whoever this person is or these people are. If it's not you on your side, then it's the other individual who you're coming towards. Um, they have people with this dirty, nasty energy around them that could be uh, blocking new love and new connections, new relationships, new energy from coming into their life. So it could it could be either or or for some of you it's both okay yeah but i do feel like a lot of you are aware of this so that could be why you're proceeding towards this individual in the manner that you are that could be as well too why you're trying to be careful and just tread lightly in the situation because I'm just seeing a lot of um, hater energy around individuals not wanting to move on that's what I'm seeing it's, it's like immature energies with this princess of swords that don't want to grow up they don't want to mature um, it's like they like to see people stagnant they like to hate they like to block these are cock blockers these are haters um, these are just people who don't have a life. So, of course, they're going to do everything possible to try to sabotage other people who are moving towards some type of happiness or success because they don't like themselves. They don't like their own lives. Um, but this also could be just miserable energies that, you know, misery loves company. So because they're miserable, they want other people to stay in some type of energy of being miserable because they don't like themselves once and for all is what I'm getting these are individuals who need to be doing some self-work self-love self-healing but they're choosing to focus like I said spending the majority of their time focus outwardly instead of focusing on themselves 7.9 billion people there's no reason for individuals to be stuck hating envying obsessing trying to sabotage someone else's life these are ind individuals that don't know how to move on okay and I'm hearing they don't know how to celebrate so these are haters okay they don't know how to celebrate other individuals so it may not even be a situation where you've done anything or this individual has done anything to these individuals. It, these are just, these are natural born, literally haters. Um, they don't like to, and they don't know how to celebrate individuals. That's not how they were raised. They were raised to um, hate on other people. And that's something that they have to personally deal with because that sounds like a personal problem. But I'm definitely seeing the world card here. So there's definitely a cycle that's closing out. Um, so a new cycle can begin. Yeah. So it doesn't really matter how these other individuals feel. I'm just picking up more so that, yeah, there are external forces and external energies. Um, if that's something that you had been feeling or suspecting, um, if you didn't have direct proof, yes, this is to confirm that. But for a lot of you, I feel like you already suspect this. So that's why you're kind of like haven't necessarily uh, directly approached whoever this person is that you're interested in um, just directly yet. Okay. So, let's get another message and wrap it up. And then we're going to go over to Aquarius. So, what else? Be a positive message to wrap up for those with significant placements. Those with who are males. Just give me one card. Okay, well, y'all got three. Because Leo just going to do the most. All right, so we got the fifth dimension card. We got check the records, open your mind to new information, do on to others, act towards others as you would like to be treated. And then we got abundance, show your thanks by the way you live your life. Um, do on to others, recording crystals, open your mind to new information and gratitude, enlightenment. So for some of you, I'm definitely seeing um, whatever inclination that you're being guided to do, you should go ahead and do it. You shouldn't allow whoever this hater or haters are around you to stop you from wanting to show um, whatever type of 
gesture that you're wanting to show towards this individual or that you're being divinely led and guided to do because I feel like someone else is aware that someone else is just aware either because you talk to this person okay and they are disguised trying to hide as a friend but they're secretly over here doing I'm hearing God knows what against you but you know definitely black magic or lying slandering gossiping or definitely constantly trying to interfere in your life so it's like in one instance this could be someone who you ha ha and he he with and always are telling your plans to but yet at the same time this is someone who's constantly plotting planning and sabotaging your plans um, but this also could be um, other individuals like exes and hater family members and hater associates and hater co-workers and just weird random haters um, that could just be uh, constantly um, just using their free time to try to manipulate and negatively impact the two of you from actually communicating with each other um, because they're either hating on you and the fact that they're not getting whatever this is or they're hating on this individual who you are wanting to approach okay and like I said for some of you y'all got haters on both sides so it could be both for some of you all right so your advice is to move forward and um move forward on the inclination that you're being being divided divinely guided to do like you know what you're being divinely orchestrated to do you keep getting the same messages coming out telling you to follow your intuition all right now we're going to move over to the next zodiac sign okay so taking a look at those of you who have significant placements of aquarius who are females in your birth chart the first card that came out we have is the free will card so this is a card where it just represents it's an extra card i just added into the deck for myself because it was something i was intuitively led to do which essentially the meaning that i get with this card is when the universe is giving you the free will choice to do what you want to do in a situation and that you're going to be supported like so it's like whether you think you can you're going to be supported and whether you think you can't you're going to be supported either way whatever you do it's like the universe has got you the universe is going to back you so it's essentially like it's essentially like a free space and bingo type of car you, you get what i mean like it's like whatever you choose to do the universe is going to rock with you that's that's what i'm getting so i feel like whatever this is that you have been desiring to do aquarius um i feel like the universe is supporting you and i feel like you're needing to hear this because i feel like you're you have the judgment card down here you got the three of cups you got the hierophant and you got the nine of swords the judgment card the nine of swords the hierophant energy is strongly letting me know that you're very deeply concerned about what other people are going to feel about some type of decision okay that you want to make but it's something that you've been like thinking about for a really long time it's not something that you've just all of a sudden wanted to do it's something that's kind of been like i'm hearing plaguing you for some time now you got the seven of cups on the bottom um which in this instance i'm just getting the energy around confusion right there's a lot of confusion energy okay there's a lot of confusion energy around you and in, in your midst and your emotions and your feelings i feel like part of you wants to go for something part of you's just kind of been holding back and uh not going for something because you're just not certain maybe if your sentiments are going to be reciprocated if they're going to be welcomed if they're going to be like validated now this could either be due to the person okay who is your point of interest or this could be by society like you're not sure is society going to accept you okay if you make this next move or you make this choice or this decision that you want to do now i feel like um there's two situations that i'm picking up one very strongly is i feel like some of you female aquarius energies you have um a friend who you're interested in 
and you've had feelings for this person for a really long time and you want to let this person know that you're interested in them okay now for others of you um well hold on let me stick with the same story so because i don't know if i finished my thought i'm sorry i was just kind of like zoned out real quick so for you female aquarius energies you could have a friend that you're interested in that you've been interested in for some time this could be another female okay so that could be where some of the the energy of you kind of feeling confused and not sure if you should move forward with this choice or this decision because for some of you this friend doesn't know how you feel about them but you've always felt this way and I feel like your feelings just have continued to grow stronger and stronger for this individual and you've kind of continued to just kind of like hold it in and suppress these feelings about this individual and just be cordial around this person but I feel like your feelings have continued to grow very like significantly strong for this person to the point where I'm seeing like some of you really want to like have a very serious monogamous relationship with this this individual who this this female friend of yours now for others of you the other caveat to this situation is because some of you are married okay so some of you could already be in a relationship a significant relationship a very committed relationship a relationship you've been in for a really long time but others of you you could just not want to be in your relationship that you're in anymore you could want to just be single that's what i'm getting so for some of you you want to move towards a female friend for others of you you may just want to leave your relationship and go towards another individual who you're interested in okay so you might just want to leave a relationship that you've been in long term and go towards another person for some of you it's a female specifically a female friend of yours and then for others of you you just want to be single is what i'm getting there's a situation where it's just like you're feeling like being in a long-term relationship or just being in a monogamous um like committed relationship it's too much for you like it wears you out i feel like for some of you you either you feel like this person that you're with is like boring and like very stifling and this person could be old-fashioned and they can be very like traditional and that just doesn't really like sit right with you um and what you desire you could be wanting to be really I'm getting fun energy around you so you might feel like this person that you're with is like like a damp cloth or something like that it's like this person like makes you be too serious and you don't want to be as serious as this person is trying to make you 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 want to go out is what I'm seeing like the three of cups energy here means to me like you want to go out you want to kick it with your friends now for some of you you know you could you could really just be wanting to turn up like you you could really just be wanting to turn up maybe some of you have been like in serious relationships since you were young you know what i mean like you could have <laughs> i'm hearing come out the womb but okay this is what it is some of you you could be the type of individual where you're like always back to back in a relationship okay so if you've had multiple relationships you've always been in like relationships back to back and they could be like very long relationships that you've been in so you may have never really got to experience being free and single and just really exploring yourself and learning yourself and as you've been in these relationships and they've been long term it's just like you're starting to discover who you are now maybe like later in life okay so for some of you you could be a little more mature in age and you're just now maybe starting to either get comfortable in who you are or you know accept certain things about yourself or you're just really starting to discover who you truly are okay or you're starting to embrace a more like free side of yourself than you ever have allowed yourself to do now it could be because of pressures that have been placed on you by your family to act a certain way to do certain things to marry this type of person to go after this type of career to be serious to grow up to be mature be responsible like it could be that type of energy where you've had a lot of like maybe responsibility put on you at a very uh, young age so you could have had to like grow up very quickly or you could have had to maybe be like I'm hearing like a role model like you were kind of pushed into a position to be a role model and I'm hearing like before your time so it's before you even got to like experience like you know how some people go through phases where they have a whole phase 
or they just get to explore and be themselves you know what i'm saying and they get to learn from mistakes and things of that nature like some of you have felt like you didn't get to have that opportunity to like f up or just um just be wild and free or just to be yourself it's like you don't it don't even have to be like sexually or loosely it could just be the fact of some of you had very like regimented like upbringings either due to that responsibility being forced on you because you had to be like the breadwinner you had to be i'm getting like some of you had to be like the first of the family like you could have been like i don't know i'm getting some energy like some of you like like the energy of oh like how if, if your parents couldn't read i'm getting a situation like some of you like your parents couldn't read so maybe some of you you have like parents who are immigrants okay so maybe some of you is like your parents couldn't read like you had to step up and be very responsible at a very young age is what i'm getting like you had to you had to like do the bills you had to um like translate you had to do just do things that children should not maybe normally be doing and you didn't get to have a childhood you had to grow up very fast and you had a lot of responsibilities put on you so you could have been forced into that position because maybe the the people who you grew up with like everything was depending and riding on you like i said maybe especially for some of you who strongly came from um cultural backgrounds where your parents were immigrants and you were not um born in the native land where your parents are from now for others of you it could have also just been the fact of you had no other choice but to um survive because you could have just been yourself like it could have just been like you could have felt like it's been you against the world so it's like you've had no safety net you've had nobody to fall back on you've had nobody to depend on and you had no choice but to like get it out the mud and come out like very serious like i'm getting like very capricorn type of energy maybe some of you have very strong significant placements of capricorn in your birth chart um i'm hearing like maybe some of you are on the capricorn cusp so i'm just getting the energy where some of you were forced to have to like grow up very early either because you had nobody else to rely on so you had to rely on yourself you had no other choice but to make it okay and then for others of you you were forced into that position because your parents were intellectually not as um what's the word they just they, they just weren't capable of being able to do certain things because of their education level or their lack of being able to speak um english or things of that nature or just to comprehend certain things that you're able to comprehend because they they're not originally from um wherever you you are living or you're you're at i'm getting more like united states energy but it definitely could be wherever you are residing so it could be a situation where your parents immigrated you all to a whole nother country okay whether it's the united states or somewhere else and you have some type of advantage that your parents didn't have and then they really relied on you heavily um, and we're co codependent on you heavily to be very responsible um, because of that. But I'm seeing some of you just kind of want to go back and like have a childhood now. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting. Some of you are wanting to go back and have a childhood because because you, yours got stripped away from you. Others of you, you, you've been in a relationship that's been very stifling. Now this is either because you got with someone because you were pressured to to be with someone you know for societal reasons and beliefs or maybe that's initially like how your family grew up and you you know that's what you believed you were supposed to do you you felt like you were supposed to get married and you were supposed to take on certain duties and you were supposed to do this and do that for others of you this definitely could be a situation where whoever your spouse is they were definitely um someone who is very dominant and they kind of pushed this um ideology on you and maybe this is something like you you never were really comfortable with but then you kind of just submitted to it because you kind of felt like well this is what a wife is supposed to do okay but i'm definitely getting around a lot of you all there's a very strong like masculine energy i feel like for a lot of you you want to be either like the breadwinner or you want to be the person who wears like the the like 
it's like you want to be more of a dominant role in the relationship that you're in if for those of you maybe that where you're wanting to stay in a relationship it could be like you wanting it's like role reversal like you want to be more dominant so it's either a situation where you might have some type of <laughs> I don't know what this is I'm hearing fetish but th- there could be some type of um, situation where you kind of like want to be in a relationship where you and your partner especially um, if this is a husband like where you two can like switch roles like you need some type of like I'm getting mutable energy now okay <laughs> um, so you could have some type of mutable placement that's Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo energy so you you could have some type of situation where it's like you actually love your husband and whatnot but it's almost like your husband is very like old-fashioned and very traditional and your husband is very um no nonsense about like you being very submissive and i feel like those of you who actually want to stay in your relationship that you're happy like like you actually genuinely love your husband and your family and whatnot and you want to make things work. I feel like you just kind of want to shift the roles a little bit and you want to be able to have some type of dynamic where you and your husband can like naturally go back and forth between like who dominates the relationship. It's almost like you 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 want to flip-flop between being submissive and being dominant. But you want your husband to just like get that about you. And I feel like it's kind of been like push pull. You it's been kind of like tough for you to like articulate this to your husband because i'm seeing the energy is someone who's very strong they 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 have very strong opinions so i don't feel like this is someone who really is like going for this you know what i'm saying and it could also just be because things have been away for us a very long time it's like well why do you want to change something all of a sudden now like you've been being submissive all this time like all of a sudden now you want to now you want to like dominate the relationship so i just kind of feel like that's something that some of you are dealing with is like maybe some of you have tried to express this to your significant other specifically like I said those of you who are married to uh, a male energy you've tried to express this in subtle ways um to this individual and um and and articulate it to them but I don't think you fully have expressed the fact that you want to have like a role reversal essentially like you you want to be able to like go back and forth it's like you don't want to always be in the dominant role but you don't always want to be submissive either like you want a nice fine balance okay and then for others of you you just don't want to be with your spouse anymore because you just excuse me there's no way that whoever this is is going to go for that okay there's no way that this other individual is going to go for that and you may have come to the realization that you actually are like an alpha female and you actually want to be with a, a individual who's more submissive to you so I feel like for some of you that has been stressing you out because you just feel like you and whoever your partner is it's not working because the individual is um it's like you you want to be the dominant individual so maybe for this group of you all you have a lot of like power struggles and power clashes with your spouse um and I feel like the two of you could like get into a lot of arguments um I'm seeing a lot of judgmental energy. So the two of you could like judge each other a lot and um, like harshly, like harshly criticize each other going back and forth. Um, it could be very like um, tumultuous uh, disagreements and arguments that this group of you all go through. Um, and it's left a very significant impact on the relationship to maybe to the point where some of you, it's like kind of irreparable at this point is what I'm getting. I feel like, you've been trying to make it work still but I feel like it's kind of like it's kind of overwhelming at this point for you to continue to try to um maintain this this facade of being happy when I feel like this group of you just want to be free some of you just want to be free and you want to be out of the relationship just in general is what I'm getting um that's really much the energies that I'm seeing like I just feel like you all have some decisions and uh conversations that you all need to have Aquarius um you you know you really need to get out your head and 
really have some open honest discussions with people around you um whoever and however this applies to your situation but uh let's go ahead and take a look at some helpful messages for you before we just move on kind of collectively to see how this energy resonates with the leo energy so we got the intuition card it says access access your wisdom and listen to your intuition so you're definitely being guided to to listen to your intuition what is your intuition telling you to do in a situation that's going to be the best the best guidance that you, that you um the best guidance that you receive i mean maybe for some of you as well too you may want to get a personal reading with me okay with the high priestess intuition card coming up to just you know get some other insight into the situation to help you just come to a conclusion that feels good for you or to help you maybe put into words you know things that maybe you're not seeing within yourself or within your situation or maybe when it comes to your partner's side of the, of things or the love interest that you want to go to who you may be interested in to just get some more insight so you definitely could reach out to me if you all um feel comfortable and book a, a reading with me but besides that i mean you're just being kind to listen to your intuition okay it's like you're gonna make the right decision when you truly honestly listen to like what do you feel you is going to be in your best interest and that's most important okay all right, so now we're going to look at collectively these Leo uh, Aquarius energies to see how they impact each other before we wrap this reading up. All right, so just collectively wrapping up the energies between those of you with significant placements of Leo who are males and those of you with significant placements of Aquarius who are females. I definitely feel like there's just a nice balance energy that the two of you need to come into. Just the fact that we have male energy and then we got feminine energy and the fact that the two of you are opposites. I feel like you're needed to find some nice happy medium balance um, and compromise like within your situation. Um, you have to come to peace and come to terms and find balance within yourself, whatever you're experiencing, whatever you're dealing with, whatever your feelings are. Um, also we have the telepathy card here which says pure communication clear your mind to transmute and receive messages i feel like um a lot of you definitely are kind of like blocked off from thinking about things in new ways or being open to actually maybe things working out better than what you could expect so i feel like for some of you you're needing to like let your guards down and allow yourself to actually I'm hearing be happy like allow yourself to be happy some of you need to allow yourself to actually be happy and that may help some of you just um really move into the energy that you're being led to take or help you to get the guidance um and direction that you're needing to receive to move forward in the manner that's going to be in your best interest i'm also hearing that like you're trying to prolong the inevitable um, I'm getting that energy once again there's something about a push type of energy so I feel like you're going to be pushed to do something um, I feel like a lot of you have been like skirting around a situation trying to avoid a situation trying to avoid your feelings trying to avoid having some type of conversation with another individual trying to avoid taking some type of initiative or action but I feel like yeah there's about to be a push um, un <laughs> unfortunately so I feel like yeah i'm getting confirmation with the ace of swords yeah there's definitely about to be a push to help you move in the direction that you're supposed to go or to help you communicate and express your feelings in some manner i'm also getting very strong music energy around uh both of you all as well too so in some instances i'm definitely picking up even though i know i i said there's leo males that i'm specifically focused on aquarius females that i'm specifically focused on but i feel like for some of you in some instances you have both signs in your birth chart okay um, so you definitely could take the messages and apply them to yourself as they may, if they do, um, regardless. Okay. Um, if, especially if you have both signs, um, the Leo and the Aquarius placements in your birth chart, take, you know, whatever messages from both aspects of the messages that I gave, I gave for e um, each of them as they may apply to you. Um, but there's strong music energy here so i definitely feel like for some of you as well too that is going to be your best bet um to definitely get uh use music to 
um, connect to uh, or to express yourself in some manner as well too um, in whatever situation that applies to you so I feel like it's a very creative type of outlet for a lot of you it's going to be music is what I'm getting very strongly specifically that's going to very uh, much help you to express or get your feelings out or to come to this, like to get whatever type of relief or get some type of healing or finally say what you need to say or y you know what I'm saying so um but that's pretty much what I'm I'm getting for your energy um I hope this was very helpful for you all um if you would like to book a personal session with me you can go to my website www.divinelotustarot.com you can find the link to my website below this video and peace and be blessed y'all